Hello all, welcome back to Uncommon Geeks. Myself Vasant. I hope you all doing well. So in today's video, we are discussing about another custom implementation that is array dot map. Okay. So far, we have already covered multiple functions in this series like array dot concat, array dot flat, etc. So this is a very very important series because uh, in so far in all the videos that we discussed, we were passing a values into a custom implementation. In this case, you have to pass a callback or a function to the custom implementation. So actually, I thought of first starting with an array dot reduce method, which is asked in very very uh, uh, all the top companies okay and very commonly but before i take up array dot reduce which is slightly complicated i thought of taking this array dot map method uh, which will act as a helping before i going to the very complicated implementation of reduce okay so please be with me watch this video till the end okay once you are sure how array dot map works you will be able to write any custom implementation that takes a callback as an input or a function as an input and perform certain action okay without wasting further time let's get started but only one one last thing in case if you are someone who hasn't seen my past videos in this series and directly land into this video i would highly advise please go back and watch at least first and second and third video of mine so where i have explained things step by step manner about the custom implementation how a programming constraint get access to different methods like let's if you create let array 1 how array 1 get access to lot of built in methods etc i have explained without that if you directly come to this video please it is difficult for you because i assume you know some things okay that is the only thing without wasting further time let's get started so now you have a array dot prototype dot map method okay so this is a method that takes uh, that creates a new array populated with the result of the calling a provided function on every element in the calling array i don't know why <laughs> developer dot mozilla dot org makes the always the definition quite difficult for at least majority of people to understand definitely this is understandable but not so easily understandable okay so i will explain very simple words so we have array 1 4 5 6 and map function where we are doing array 1 dot map and inside that you have a function x which is doing x star 2 okay here x every time refers to the value like 1 4 9 6 every like a loop it is running and then what is doing it is multiplying that with a 2 then after the end of this iteration it is returning the value back to the map1 function okay map1 basically now contains the output of this execution so if you run you would see 2 28 uh, 1832 so basically double of this whenever you multiply 2 into this whatever you get that has been logged here okay so that's about what map does okay uh, but you need a little more understand about map like same way how i said about concat correct it is not about just understanding one bit of a method and starting implementation uh, especially the tier one company engineers expect you to cover all the scenarios that a method covers so if you come here now in syntax so first element by default points to element okay state of i'm coming here where first uh, is the element second is the index third is the array itself so basically the custom function whatever is inside the map block will take three arguments that is element index and the array itself okay depending on whatever you want to perform you can perform inside correct now when you will use the array dot map method interviewer will definitely ask this question to you okay you will use array dot map method when you want to transform the input array so array 1 was the array uh, so, uh, No, you want to do. Don't want to transform the input array. You want to perform some action from the given array, and you will return a new array. So whenever you want to form a new array from the existing array, then you will use array dot map. What if you don't want to change the existing array, or what if you want to change the existing array itself? Then you can use the for loop or for each, for of, etc. So this is also another very important interview question: when you will use map and when you will use for each. I answered that here itself. Okay, now. without wasting further time let's uh, start the implementation i'll copy the same things okay and i have also not come prepared for this video okay roughly i know how to pass a callback the reason i have not come prepared is the same as you already know i'll want to make some i i not intentionally i want to make mistake but if i make some mistake by miss at least you guys get to learn my mistakes and do not repeat that in the interview the videos where i come prepared i don't make mistake then you will not you will miss out that chance okay but still i think i'll be able to write it that's what i'm hoping so we have array 1 with 1 4 9 16 one are same array basically so i'm just executing nothing much we got it so let us start by first writing a custom method okay so maybe i'll keep all these things below so where i am writing a custom method that is array dot prototype dot 
my map okay uh, in case if you are someone who don't know what i'm doing here what is prototype what is map and all I, as i said please do watch my first videos and come back to this okay then only you'll get a sense of what all happening here okay i'll try to link that also somewhere on the screen and in the description section so that you can quickly get access to that now so first thing is basically this function as i said it takes a callback as an input correct a callback as an input it takes okay then what we do is we will run okay i is equal to zero i less than maybe i won't put the for loop okay uh, before i start the actual implementation i just have one call out in case if you are someone who is preparing for javascript driven interviews anything react react native angular view uh not just anything i prepared a beautiful series uh i'll try to link that somewhere in the description with most common interview question and how to tackle them okay please go ahead and watch that uh because that will definitely help you if you're preparing for interview uh, i'm sorry I'm, I'm repeating it in my all the videos for someone who is watching continuously may get annoyed but i'm just want to make sure as many people as possible i just want to help them to clear their interviews okay so i'm just telling again in this video now let me start the implementation okay so so what i will be doing now is um very first we should get access to this array whatever we are passing because we have to run the map or the the iteration till the length of the array correct so you know how to get that const input array is equals to this see if i am writing uh, this kind of program in a uh, top tier one companies man companies i wouldn't be doing this okay the reason being i am using extra memory for already existing variable but for the explanation purpose because of the diverse audience i just do this way okay so if, once you get a hand of understanding of what is this then you can uh, you do you also don't have to do this okay for those of you are straight away watching this video and not watch my previous video this basically refers to the reference with which you are triggering this in this case array one you are triggering my map method okay so you are triggering my map method so array one points to this now next you have uh, you have to run the uh, loop till the length of the array correct so input array dot length now next you already have a callback method here correct you already have a callback method here which does x equal to x star 2 what you have to do is you have to execute the callback method whatever the callback that you got okay but as per the definition it takes three things first one is the value okay three things first is value second is index third is array itself correct so here what is the value that is input array of i is the value which will points to one in the beginning four nine six going forward what is the second argument index we already know i is the index what is the third argument array itself so that also we have input array so we now know all the things so whatever the callback that function that you are passing so we are triggering the same callback method inside this block okay but one important thing to observe here is we need to form a new array correct that is what the that is what map does to do that what i am doing i'll create one array const output and whatever the value of this correct whatever the value that i am getting from this i will be pushing that into this array I know it is getting slightly conf uh, confusing. I'll I'll explain this once again. Okay. Okay. First, uh, I'll, uh, I'll try to run this code, and again I'll explain step by step what is happening. Okay. I think most of you understood till calling the callback method. Maybe what happened on what why I'm doing output dot push. Some of you might be confused, but I'll explain that. Okay. So then I would do return output first we'll make sure it is working well as i'm also writing just like any of you in the interview okay so map one array dot my map but let me do a dry run so this is a practice that i do no matter which kind of a company i'm getting interview i never run the code more run with failures will decrease your confidence by the interviewer interview will think you're not confident about the code you're writing so try to run as many less times as possible okay so now we have array one which has one four nine sixteen as the input then we am calling my map and i'm passing a callback okay i have a callback here so input array points to 1496 then for i is equal to 0 i less than input array dot length okay so input array is 1 2 9 16 in the first iteration what i'm doing i'm callback so this method this method i'm calling by passing input array value which is 2 okay as you know you're having you're using only x here that means the first value if you see here we have three values element index and array if you are not passing second and third 
only one value are passing by default that points to the value okay if you pass two that points to value and in the index if you pass three value index and in the array so you're passing only one here uh, so i we could have only passed one but i am st uh, sticking to the constant so i and input array we are passing so it will execute one by one then finally i'm returning the output looks like it will work fingers crossed let's run and see whether it will work or not if not let's quickly try to debug mm, it worked 2 4 18 and uh, 32 correct double of these uh correct it, it worked luckily it worked okay i was not expecting it will work straight away okay um luckily it worked now let me try to explain what i'm doing okay um uh, i believe many of you might have understood till here uh, what why i'm doing output dot push uh, some of you might have not understood okay so let me just uh, remove the output dot push okay then explain step by step so whenever you are calling the callback method correct technically you are invoking this method okay let's say let me extend this rather having x what i'll do uh, value index array okay i'll let me do it like that then i'm doing value star 2 for this particular example i don't need the value of index and array so i'm just keeping that i'm not using it your implementation you can continue you, you may use it so now value star 2 you know this is an arrow function arrow function when you are not keeping a flower brackets like this okay this then by default you are returning whatever is on the inside so to make sure you understand it properly okay i'm just keeping a flower bracket then i am returning this value okay return so whenever you are invoking this particular block of code every time you are returning the double value by multiplying to whatever the value you got you are you are, uh, you are sending it back so in this my map method what i am doing for the first time is i am running till the length you already know for the first time i will execute this block where i know the value correct so what i am doing i am just calling this method by passing three values this method only i am calling where value i am passing as input array of i index is a one input array is input array itself then inside this it is returning the value star 2 which is first case 1 star 2 which is 2 so you called the method but somewhere you have to store the output so that you can form a big array and return it correct i mean big array i mean the array that contains the result so that i need to form to form that what i'm doing i created an output array and then i am adding the pushing the values into the output array here and i'm returning it you can make it a two step process if you are getting confused okay const um oh, partial output correct this is one line output then output dot push partial output okay then you can uh, you can return output this remains same just one step to i'm breaking down that into a two step process hope now you all understood what we are doing so basically for a map method it takes a callback so we are passing a callback into my map method also then this callback method is something that a developer writes uh, like for example like this same method you are triggering for each and every element here okay w only thing that you are doing is you are copying that result or taking the result and pushing into the output array finally returning that output array okay so this callback is basic nothing but this method it takes three argument which you are passing here it is returning a value star 2 double of the value that you are passing that is stored stored here then you are finally pushing that into the output array correct and once the array iteration is done you are returning that value that's all we are doing got it so this is about the array dot my map wait now i have homework for you so for each i said is a method which does the similar thing but it doesn't return a new array but it will modify whatever the existing array or you can use it to do any other thing so try to implement array dot for each on your own if most of you are not able to implement definitely i'll write mention that in the comment section i'll try to write a, a medium blogger another video and uh, uh, post that in the description section if not if you return please link your medium blog or your gist or your whatever wherever you have written please link that i will read and if it is wrong if need any correction then i'll let you know okay thank you so much for watching this video if you would have liked my video please do like it on my youtube channel 
share this videos along with your friends who and all are preparing for the seriously preparing for the interviews do not forget to subscribe to uncommon guys please please subscribe to uncommon guys that is the thing that gives me motivation to make more such good content okay catch you in my next video but i link my medium blogs where i beautifully explain different concepts like this please do follow me on medium also and read my articles thank you again